Hey guys, so today will be a Killstar clearance haul. So I purchased some things from Killstar. This was like several months ago. They had some sort of clearance sale going on and I had remembered that I had a gift certificate from my birthday, which was in February, uh, to Killstar that I hadn't used yet. So I'm like, you know what? They have a bunch of stuff on sale. Let me just use it because I needed some uh, summer things because a lot of my stuff, like I've said in previous videos, just doesn't fit me anymore. Um, because of after having my son, I gained weight and I just didn't lose it. So I wanted some things for the summer because I didn't have a whole heck of a lot. So we're going to go through the items that I got, even though I've already opened the box. I don't remember everything that was in there. I just wanted to make sure everything was in there when I originally received it. Um, because I had like a hard time getting it because, uh, they lost my package. It was shipped via FedEx and it got lost. It was like uh, this whole thing. And then I had to like reorder everything. Um, you know, Killstar like refunded me the money or I think they gave me a credit and I just reordered everything. But I think, no, yeah, I got, I got everything that I wanted. So yeah, let's open this box. I know I got mostly clothes, but I think I got some like small side items too because they were so cheap because of the clearance they had going on. So the first thing is a drinking cup. It's in this box. And I love, I don't even know what you call these things, tumblers, sippy, I call them sippy cups, but that's for like a little kid. Uh, but I just love these because I use them all the time. I always have water on me when I leave the house. And this one is a matte black and it says, I myself am strange and unusual. And it says Killstar. And of course that's the saying from Beetlejuice. And it's a pretty good size bottle. And it comes with the straw, a black straw and everything. So I really like this. It'll, this will get tons of use. I just, you know, I have so many of these, but then they ended up, they end up breaking or the straws get lost and then uh, I just buy new ones, but I always, if you ever want to buy me a gift, buy me a sippy cup because I will use it. I promise you that. The only thing I don't like about Killstar stuff is <laughs> they put their name on like everything. You know what I mean? I know. I mean, obviously it's their brand, but even like sh the shirts and stuff or like a couple other things I've seen that they've make or just like like a rug or a blanket or something and it'll be like Killstar. It's like, I don't, I just want the design on it. Like I don't want the name of the, the company on it. I don't know if that's just me, if you guys feel the same way. The next thing I have here is a pair of earrings. These were like really cheap. Um, they were like, I don't know, on clearance and then on sale or something. And they're not typically earrings that I would buy but because they were so discounted, I was like, you know what? I will just get them. I mean, I do like onks and I like, you know, the I like Egyptian stuff, but I don't know. I think it was just like the shape is not something I normally wear, but I do like anything that's like, like a silvery color because it stands out from my darker hair. But I think those are pretty. What do you think? I think those will look nice. Um, oh, and then like, change of hair. Like I didn't mention that to you guys yet, but I just recently did my hair. I did like some red in the front. Um, just wanted to change. It was just sick of the, the dark all the time. And plus, you know, when you're getting older and you get gray hair and it's against dark hair, it's so noticeable. So I had all gray in the front and I figured with a lighter color in my hair, the grays will be less noticeable. So hence the hair change, but yeah, those are the earrings. I actually do like them. I like them better in person than I did um, when I saw them just on the website. All right, clothes. And with these clothes, I will be trying them all on for you guys. I like to see that when people do hauls because it's nice to see the clothes actually on, like a real person that's not like a model. And, like you can see what it looks like. Because sometimes it's just hard to tell from their website. So this was a 
pullover, like a hoodie. And it's a velvet, um, velvet burnout with, I can't really like, it's hard to see the design on here, but there's like skulls, there's like, um, swords, um, some snakes, there's like all different types of designs on here. It has a bell sleeves. I thought it would just be nice for, you know, when it gets like cooler out, um, come the fall. It has like the hood on it and stuff just to throw over um, whatever I'm wearing. And it's kind of like um, oversized and it has like a band on the bottom, like a stretchy band on the bottom. <laughs> see the prices for everything so the earrings were only four dollars and 87 cents um that sweatshirt was my secret ceremonies velvet tunic 23 dollars it's pretty good 23 dollars pretty good for like a heavy um pullover uh this next thing is a dress and it's like that plaid tartan pattern I have a similar well I mean it's not exactly similar but it has like it's the plaid design um, in red and black but I wanted th this one that's gray and black I just thought it was cool and this one has like a collar like a pointed um, faux leather collar and it buttons down the front and has like little pockets here and I'm guessing these are like they like they really wrap their stuff up good so it doesn't get damaged but they have like the o-rings here for design it came with something else in the bag I don't know if it's oh it must be a belt what is this oh I think these were like you know like um suspender pieces that just kind of clipped on the front and hung down I'll have to look at the picture to see like exactly how they were put on but when I put it on, we'll see. I think this is a size large. I think I got mostly everything in a size large because that's just what I wear. I think this is called the Menace. Is this the Menace? No. Yeah. Menace collar dress. I'm guessing that's what it is. Uh, $24.48. So again, pretty cheap. <music> collar vest um, this one was $13.98 I think this is just a, a shirt it's not like it says it's a vest but I don't think it's a vest yeah it's just like a shirt with a collar and a bow and it has like a witchy girl in the front and she has like a book. Oh, did some of this material come on? Oh no. They put like a protective coating over this because it's like that, you know, like that, I don't know what you call it, like that plasticky feeling print. But it's a girl with like a spell book. And see again on the bottom, like they put Killstar, like their name, like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but I don't really care for it. It's just plain on the back. I wanted something like this, like flowy, like to wear with leggings. Cause I wear like tons of leggings like all the time. So we'll have to see how that looks. This is a size 
large as well. I think so, maybe it, there was only like one or two things that I got in a size that I don't normally wear because they were out of stock, but usually it's a large. Next item is a skirt and it is the feeling it naughty skater skirt I don't normally wear skirts anymore I used to but like I just found found they don't, they don't fit me properly for some reason anymore I don't know they just look weird on me or I can't find like a shirt to go with it but this was cute it has like a floral pattern on it I don't know if it's gonna look good we'll see it zippers up the back and this one cost $16 so hopefully it looks good. I usually like stuff that has more of like a stretchy band and kind of like, I don't know, shapes you more just instead of like kind of hanging there if that makes sense, but we'll see how it looks. <music> shirt and this is the hell star lace up shirt which cost $16.78 it's just kind of like a um I don't know blousey type shirt it has like lace up stitching here a collar and it has like openings here like kind of above where your breasts are um just kind of give you like a sexy um, little add on there buttons down the front it's just plain in the back I don't know hopefully this looks okay it kind of looks like a little bit like boxy um, and not form-fitting so I don't know if it's gonna be like too loose but I don't know like I say with everything we will see <music> another shirt which is similar to the other one but this one looks like it's a little bit better with like the form fitting aspect of it I like this one better um, it zippers down the front and it has these like belts on the side collar and you can see it's like all cut out here that's the back it kind of has like a pinstripe look to it see that uh, i believe this one was probably a large too yeah this is a large um, but this looks like it would fit better than the other one the zipper thing is a cross with they put the plastic on it like i said um just to protect it so hopefully this one looks good because i really like the look of this one a lot <music> So that was all of the stuff and I'll comment on the things that I tried on. So the oversized hoodie tunic velvet thing, I liked it. I just didn't like the, the waistband um, elastic at the bottom. 
so it kind of goes in like this i'd rather have it kind of like flow out that's just my personal opinion but it's nice like it'll be nice for like when it gets colder out to throw over like some you know leggings or something the shirt that was kind of like the blouse with the puffy sleeves it was okay it kind of made me look boxy i thought the puffy sleeves in contrast to the design here like kind of like didn't go with each other um but i mean i'll still wear it maybe with like a pair of like jeans or something like that like black jeans um i probably wouldn't wear it with leggings it it, it was too it showed too much of like my bottom half like i don't like exposing my butt in leggings or like my crotch area um so it's maybe like some you know like skinny jeans or something it'll look better the other top there that zipped up with the cross and it was cut out here and had like the collar i loved that one like i like how it flared out the bottom i think they call it like peplum design i really liked it i thought it made my figure look nice um same thing i would probably wear that with a pair of like skinny jeans as opposed to leggings just because i like i said i don't like showing my bottom half in tight clothing like that but i really that was that was probably my favorite item that i picked up and I, I was just really happy with like the fit and everything like that. The skirt with the like the floral design on it, I didn't particularly care for it. I thought it was too long and like too like baggy kind of. I think it was just kind of like blah. I just had like one of my regular shirts on with it, and I don't know. I maybe if like wore like a corset with it, maybe it would like you know, amp it up and make, make it look better, not as frumpy, but that's what it, I feel like it just looked a little bit like frumpy or whatever. I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or just sell it or something. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I keep looking over there because I have to remind myself of the things that I tried on. Um, well, let's see this dress that I'm wearing. I think it's okay. Like the other plaid dress I have is definitely way better than this one. Um, but like see how it's like opens up here like it just doesn't they should have put like another they should have had like more buttons i feel like to keep it closed because it keeps opening so i'm probably gonna have to wear like a safety pin um i like the collar the bottom half i feel like went out too much like this and i know that like it got like um like pleated in a funny way because of the way it was in the bag um, it kind of like went like this and then like I don't really feel like the suspenders, uh, they look okay, but I think because it's so puffy on the, like kind of goes out too much in the bottom, like the suspenders just kind of get lost in it. So I didn't particularly think that it was that, this is that great of a dress. It's like, okay. Um, I don't know. I'll probably keep it and just wear it more like casually, you know what I mean? If I go someplace and what else? I, oh, that other shirt with like the collar and have the witch on it on the front, like the shirt. It was cute, like maybe a little bit too boxy. Um, I wish it was like, a little bit longer in the back to cover my butt and just like float out a little bit better, but it's fine. Like I think it, may, it probably would even look good with like skinny jeans or like a different pair of leggings. I wouldn't wear those leggings with it, but yeah, it was cute. I mean, and like I said, like everything was pretty decently price because it was on clearance and on sale and stuff like that so yeah i think that was all the items that i got let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was um, if you have picked up any stuff from clearance from killstar recently i know i've seen a couple of videos with people that have had um some things they have picked up and uh they have they have really good stuff they have nice quality stuff it's really good if you can get it on sale if you can get it on clearance like it's like a score, you know what I mean? Because it's it's made really well. Um, you just have to be able to try them on and see how they look on your body because sometimes their sizings are weird and sometimes like stuff fits not in like a good way, you know, for your body type. So that's why I always like to try this stuff on to show you guys if you want to get a better idea how it looks on somebody like, you know, my size. Um, if you're like the same as me, so yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please think about subscribing to my channel. I love to have new people here all the time. Down below you'll find all my social media, like my Instagram, my TikTok, um, my Twitter. I have Depop and Macari, which I sell stuff on. 
and also eBay. I sometimes sell stuff on there. I have my Patreon if you guys want to uh, support my channel and see patron only content. I really love to have you guys there. And to all my patrons out there, thank you guys so much. I love you all. I'm actually meeting up with one of my uh, patrons this weekend if this video goes up before then. Um, so we're just gonna have, like she lives in the area, so we're gonna have like a nice little outing out and stuff like that. So I think that's really cool when I get to meet you guys. And my Kofi account, if you just wanna buy me a Kofi, it's there too, so yeah. Everything's down there below. And until next time, stay dark, my friends, and I will talk to you guys later.